Toward the start of the show series, we see a man Terenzio. At that time, Terenzio goes to an airport. When Terenzio shows up at the air terminal, we notice him very concerned. He appeared to have missed his flight. But in reality, his flight wasn't missed. The truth was very different. Later, he goes to the gathering to ask the season of the West Flight's departure. He is educated that it will leave after two hours. He buys a ticket later so he can cross the terminal. In a later scene, a lady was having a video talk with a pal who was dwelling in New York. Her dearest companion blacks out meanwhile and the lady at the air terminal begins to stress a lot because she is right now unfit to help her. Some individuals were sitting in front of the TV and saw a journalist passing out. La tête. In expansion, they notice that few individuals have swooned and are lying on the ground. And nobody knows about the cause. People who were watching the news accepted a joke, because how individuals can drop in this manner. However, Terenzio realizes that it's anything but a joke yet a difficult situation. Terenzio says that this is the point at which he ought to take an action. He hurries to the terminal and gets the watchman's firearm as he is distracted. He asks everybody not to meddle in his path. He quickly goes towards the plane, which was set out toward Moscow. After some time, the flight was set to take off. He takes the traveler to gunpoint and requests to fly the jet. The genuine pilot hasn't as yet come and the co-pilot would rather not help this terrorist as an outcome. They were battling with each other. As an outcome, a slug raises a ruckus around town and the pilot was wounded. This projectile had hit his hand. All of the travelers were extremely concerned in light of this situation. They were being urged not to stress by the flight attendant. Later, Terenzio exits the cockpit and asks as to assuming there is one more pilot present. Hearing this, a lady stands up who was a previous pilot. She removes the plane on Terenzio's command. Plane's flight have broken due to the shot, so nobody could leave the plane. That drives them to proceed with traveling. Later, they question Sylvie about why he is effectively removing the plane. He uncovers that he was delegated as an official in NATO. And I am mindful of numerous things that others are not. When the pilots demand making sense of the genuine cause, he claims that the sunrays have become deadly. Everyone will die the following day toward the beginning of the day from the sun's rays. Even individuals who will be in their homes. He claims that Japan and Korea are now encountering it. And this plane will be the sun's next target. If the beams will be affected on it, the pilots don't really accept that this and say you are probable and sane. Terenzio comments that. In the wake of hearing this, I could fall off crazy to you. Actually, however, I'm not mad. Later. The slug injured hand of the pilot Matthew was bleeding. A female traveler who was a clinical professional, she acknowledges this obligation and proclaims that she will help the pilot. She eliminates the shot from his hand by utilizing a blistering knife. Because of this, the pilot was feeling discomfort, and different travelers began to stress as well. Therefore, he realizes he should. Get through this, because the existences of the travelers rely upon Matthew. Later, Matthew illuminates everybody that we will land in the area that Terenzio asks, despite the area of our expected landing. Matthew accepted that the warrior planes would without a doubt show up to safeguard them. They have removed the airplane on the grounds that Terenzio has taken them at gunpoint. However, Sylvie, the other pilot, doesn't really accept that that assist will with showing up for them. In contrast, when another traveler discovers that daylight is killing humans, he doesn't trust this and begins to uncertainty the pilots and that every one of the pilots are deceiving him. Ayas was name of this passenger. Another traveler shows up later, who was Arabian and hacked in. Later swoons after a while. 
Ayaz imagines that he is helping him yet he takes Terenzio's gun. Terenzio was subsequently detained in the bathroom, and different pilots were approached to share the truth. They illuminate us that we are going to land toward the west. He illuminates them that it will land in Iceland, because Terenzio maintains that our plane should land in the west, when the police show up, they will capture Terenzio and discharge the others, he tells about sunbeams, and Terenzio accepts that the sun's shafts are killing people, meanwhile, the other traveler recall that they've seen bizarre things, and every one of them begins to stress for their families, later, Pilot Matu illuminates the traveler, and Quat. Don't worry, I'll assume your liability as a captain. You'll be generally saved by me. Afterward, this plane ventures into the west. They were going to land in Iceland when the pilot noticed that there were a ton of other airplane. There. Numerous planes have crashed because of an excess of aircraft. Additionally, there is no place to land and individuals are moving around, and the pilot begins to accept Terenzio was right, as they have no spot to land so they choose to travel to Scotland. Terenzio was subsequently brought from the bathroom. He was encouraged to tell everybody the reasons for sun-related deaths. Terenzio claims that I found out about this from my senior, and that I similarly have no clue about why it's working. Out. At the point when will this all be over? I possibly know to land away from the sun assuming we really want to flee the region where the sun's beams can't reach. Later, when the Arabian person who blacked out before some time, was yet alive was scarcely breathing. He planned to die, however not. Prior to let everybody know that I had gulped the diamonds, the nurture makes various endeavors to draw out the jewels from his body but her endeavors remains unsuccessful. They make a crisis arrival. In Scotland later, this was a troublesome landing and, the airplane was very nearly slamming into a wall. But with extraordinary trouble, before some time, they stop the plane, as their plane grounds. They begin receiving many messages and notifications, from their family members. The news was being accounted for online that a portion of the populace had passed away, due to the sun's beams, and a big part of them are alive. This air terminal was abandoned on the grounds that individuals have escaped from there. They were searching for a dull region where they could hide. The news detailed that in the event that the sun rises and an individual conceals in a dugout, will die. All of these travelers need to fly westward. They were setting up their provisions and significant packs for this reason. One of the men needs to return to his wife. He was contending with them generally that I would rather not go toward the west. He was likewise permitted TP return. Canada was their next stop. Where they would refuel their aircraft. The radio will be fixed, and inevitably, the web signals were fixed. Additionally, they get various notes that were the last messages of their cherished ones. Because their cherished one later passed away, a man later illuminates them that the planet is to be faulted for why individuals are kicking the bucket from the sun's beams. One of them was a man who was an environment expert. He is familiar with the sun's clarity. He claims that the attractive field of the sun switched once every 11 years. But this time, the child's turned around power has been noticed weaker. He claims that the gamma impact has impacted each region that the sun's shafts can reach. These gamma beams are liable for individuals' death. They have no method for demonstrating this hypothesis as well. Later, Ayas learns by means of a report that all of the RAF faculty on board the airplane are terrorists. They have come from Afghanistan and they were arrested. They were getting back to their home county. We notice a fear-based oppressor and an elderly person battling outside. And he pulls the elderly person to the ground, killing him in the process. When the pilot learns of this, the principal pilot decides to send the psychological 
militants to Canada and will take another departure from there. They at long last land, just two hours stay in the sunrise. The fear mongers were told to find a neighborhood radio mechanics shop nearby. They request to bring two passengers. They concurred, saying that they would carry Jacob in. Gabriel alongside them. Jacob knew about this plane while Gabriel knew nothing about this. While Jacob and Gabriel were going with fear mongers, Jacob secures them in the room. He likewise wants to bring Gabriel along. Gabriel, who knows nothing about the plot, doesn't have any desire to pursue leaving them. Jacob surges towards the plane since he needs more time to stand there to convince Gabriel to go with him. He rapidly pushes toward the plane in view of this. The fear based oppressors were chasing after him, while Gabriel has left in this city. The plane takes off without her and fear based oppressors while pursuing Jacob, then open fire on the airplane's windows. This window won't break in the event that the plane keeps up with the level altitude. There was a kid on the plane who was very ill. Ayaz attempts to speak with him, thus, he could help him, but his mom cautions him against moving toward his youngster, don't converse with him. After that, in Hawaii, they get radio signals from somewhere. They find out about certain travelers in Hawaii who are concealed under the water bunker. There is yet alive in the pilot, Matthew needs to go to save them. The other pilot proposes that we're not even evident whether this is the right data or not. So, it isn't fine, it would be crazy to go there to save them. Terenzio shows up there in cases that every one of the choices are made by the skipper and why we don't. He calls every traveler in the interim. There, it was likewise resolved that each traveler would project a vote and will choose. Together, meanwhile, cautions start to ring. That demonstrates that the plane is malfunctioning. They look at the plane as a result. Matthew discovers that the psychological militants they left behind were seeking after them, and one of them had an arrival zone attached to himself. They will not securely land assuming that he remains there. Matthew pursues the choice that he'll run the plane speedily. And this will prompt a decline in oxygen. And because of the fast speed, he will drop. But in this example, he failed to remember that their plane's glass had likewise smashed. As the airplane flies rapidly, the window breaks. Air was quickly entering the aircraft. Things were flying. Making it provoking for the travelers to remain there. Matthew dials back the plane and takes it to a lower altitude. Later, Jacob is uncovered to keep a wooden load up near the window. Consequently, air can't enter the aircraft. The debilitated youngster experienced difficulty breathing, considering that he has breath disease. Here, Ayas had a thought and chosen to utilize an oxygen pipe for the kid. The kid's mom is humiliated as she notices this, because she had previously requested that Ayas keep her kid away. Ayas additionally helped him today. The commander cautions everybody that on the off chance that we continue onward at this speed, we will not have the option to land in Hawaii. They migrate their arrival due to this. Additionally, they hate to manage hardships because of the balancing terrorists, but meanwhile, we notice Terenzio, Jacob, and Ayas load up under carriage. They make an opening in the plane's floor, so they can see the terrorist. Terenzio threatens to use his firearm, however the crook gets it instead. Terenzio was fit to be killed when Ayas mediated to save him. Ayas has shot the fear mongers and become a legend for a while. Later, obviously the Arabian traveler who'd gulped the diamonds, had really died because of Ayas, because his body was covered in Canada by these passengers. A kid sees them while doing this, he was the traveler of this plane. He saw that in the wake of cutting his body, Ayas was bringing something out. Here, Ayas claims that I am a precious stone smuggler. 
The Arabian traveler's body contained the pearls I had stowed away there. Due to the Arabian traveler hasn't adhered to the directions properly, he died. Along these lines, provoking me to eliminate the jewels from his body, everyone becomes rankled with ayahs in the wake of hearing this, and not many of them were proposing to throw him out like terrorists. However, most of the travelers upheld ayahs, unlike a significant number of them who favored that he stay, so H was handcuffed. Later, they make an arrival and refuel their aircraft. Here, the climatologist educates them regarding an odd fact. He guaranteed that since gamma beams are so powerful, because the Canadian natural products they have taken are tasteless, that the natural products never again have their unique flavor. Gamma beams will demolish the food structure. In the event that it keeps happening, as an outcome, inside certain weeks they might die from an absence of food. Matthew who has been driving for some time when he asks the climatologist, that we need to go to where the sun can't shine. We'll ponder this later due to this. Later, the pilot is seen, who was telling Matthew, that you really want to rest right now since you've developed. Exhausted. He was driving the stream for such a long time and was lazy because of tiredness. It was clear that the other travelers' lives were at risk. He is moved toward by each traveler, who persuades him to fall asleep. He guarantees that I will rest, yet all the same not immediately. I currently need to convey the plane. Meanwhile, they get another radio signal. They can't hear the discussion well, yet there was one in particular that could be heard, and it was about Stara 17. They rapidly understand that the man addressing them is a space explorer, preset in the space. They were very shocked to discover that he is still alive, and has all the earmarks of being speaking with the control room on Earth. They choose to make a trip to the NATO base camp, the beginning stage of it. All. Matthew, who has gone to the restroom, they notice has fainted. Actually, the injury brought about by the shot in his grasp has gotten worse. The poison is presently spreading all through his body as a result. Nurse among these travelers says in the event that we arrive at clinic, somehow, I'll work him and the other pilot, who named Sylvie. She was very stressed while thoroughly considering that how might I run the plane without Matthew. All the travelers demands her to fly. Regardless of whether you have any experience, you actually need to remove this plane, because you are our last hope. Sylvie should be visible review a YouTube video to figure out how to land the plane. Watching the video was very simple yet with regards to take off, and setting down the plane. It was very difficult. Sylvie was getting anxious and when they land it was a sort of precarious landing. Luckily, every one of the travelers were safe, and Sylvie gets a recognition from everyone. They partition them into three gatherings without squandering any time. They need to perform different tasks. While some should refuel the plane, others should move Matthew to the hospital. Terenzio and Ayas should visit the NATO Central Command as well. There are a ton of Patients in the clinic who are nestled into the ground, they were died. After seeing them, the medical caretaker saw them exhorts not to overreact in the wake of seeing them, and rather to focus on saving Matthew's life. Later, we notice the kid's debilitated mother, she was gathering different things for her child. Like with medications and his essentials, on the opposite side, we see the central command of NATO. Everything is brought to the control room by Terenzio. They need more opportunity to completely look at each file. They decide to watch observation video for that reason. Most likely, they gain something from this video. Later, when a part agrees with a particular position, Terenzio and Ayas participate in combat. Terenzio unintentionally hits Ayas. Ayas falls. Thus, and his body drains profusely. On the other hand, one of their individuals was prevail with 
Regards to finding a recording. Several officials were heard talking in this recording. These were in. Regards to an underground dugout in a dam. That is Satara number 17, the very area that they have. Heard on the radio. Rick is the name of the kid who took this recording. They should now educate. They're different individuals regarding this. As we watch, Terenzio approaches Rick and illuminates him. That is the means by which I killed Ayas. When Rick shows up, he sees that his body is canvassed in blood. On the other hand, Matthew's circumstance is as of now stable. Matthew was subsequently shipped on a plane. The different members load up the airplane to return. Matthew is feeling much. B. Terenzio exhorts everybody that we shouldn't sit tight for Ayas, because he won't return. Everyone was concerned why Ayas wouldn't return. When Matthew turned on the motor, they notice Ayas before them. Ayas was conveyed onto the airplane, though Terenzio's options were limited up. Everyone is educated by Sylvie that on the off chance that the Bulgarian stream doesn't take off, to enter the Shelter situated inside the dam, we will not have sufficient petroleum to go somewhere else. They will just have in the wake of landing where they might go to the bunker. Ayaz's condition was decaying a result of parcel of bleeding. Everyone later asks that Terenzio has done this with you. Which discipline do you wish to manage to him later? Ayaz claims that subsequent to hearing this, I don't maintain that he should pass away. He ought to go with us to the dugout, in view of the distance away the fortification was. They all get into the vehicles as the stream terrains in. Begin heading towards the bunker. Two bunches contained these travelers have been formed. They were going in two vehicles. Sylvie was driving the principal vehicle though Ayas was driving the other. The draining had left Ayaz's condition rather fragile. As an outcome, Ayaz's and his companion's vehicle crashes. The first vehicle, that Sylvie was driving had left at a far off location. Sylvie promptly turns and strolls through an entryway that is simply to some degree open. A traveler contacts this door and tumbles to the ground. Because current courses through the gate, they Discover that they should keep squeezing the button till every traveler has entered. It's pivotal to press the button since the door will stay open until it is pressed. Terenzio says that I will keep on squeezing this button until each traveler enters. Terenzio's hands were tied up by Sylvie because she fears he could deceive them as he did with Ayas. She tells him that you'll be liberated when Every one of the travelers will enter inside. The bunch individuals who were in Ayaz's vehicle with him. Sylvie and the other colleagues enter subsequent to tying Terenzio's hands. On the opposite side. Ayaz takes a turn subsequent to dropping off all of his passengers. Then he takes another turn. He enters the dam's dugout by an alternate gate. Because they left by an alternate door. That is the reason Terenzio has let be there. While the wide range of various colleagues had entered the bunker. Finally, the military invited them all. They illuminate them that everybody is presently secure. Terenzio stays alone outside and inquires God to excuse him for his misdeeds. He was ready to confront the sun. All different travelers stayed alive, be that as it may. Terenzio was killed by the Beams of sun the film 